Now, as Nigeria's political parties begin their campaigning towards the 2023 general elections, the presidential candidate of the new Nigeria People's Party, NNPP, Senator Rabi Okonkoso, is confident that his party can surmount the myriads of problems confronting the nation. In an interview with Plus TV News in Lagos, Konkoso reiterated his commitment to steering the ship of the country if voted for. In northern Nigeria today, uh, people are convinced, the 19 states and uh, FCT. Uh, people may not understand, people may not know. And uh, we want people to continue to underrate. But I'm happy, even in the south, we have been to Cross River State, we have been to uh, Akwa Ibom State, we have been to Delta State, we have been to many other places, of course, including uh, uh, Oyo, Lagos, now we're in Lagos. And we are making contacts with our friends. And I believe and then people will continue to grow from strength to strength. When we started, nobody was giving us any chance. Now I believe even those critics are beginning to realize that we are, not, we are, we are on the ground while others are in the air. So um, we are well prepared for the job. Uh, in terms of capacity, in terms of experience, in terms of integrity, and in terms of even education. Uh, I had opportunity from craft school to technical school to polytechnics to university up to the PhD level. So I thank Almighty God we are well prepared for it. And I'm not sure if there is any candidate uh, in this election who can say, uh, the same. We are the only party that is growing today in this country. All other parties have reached their peak. There is nothing, absolutely nothing, PDP and or APC can tell any Nigerian now to convince them to join them. When asked what he would do differently to ensure that the issue of insecurity is brought to an end, this is how he responded. When we are in the ministry, first and foremost, we were able to secure the country. The country was peaceful. There was no way you can accuse our government at that particular time when I was Minister of Defense of keeping away its eyes on the general security in this country. In fact, not even in Nigeria. During our time, I was in Sierra Leone to see our servicemen and women. I was in Liberia. I was in Darfur, in fact, many times. And the uh, military have done so well in those countries. We are going to secure this country using the military, the police, the SSS, the civil defense, and all other uh, organizations coming together and will use local uh, 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 people uh, at world level. We have special program, not only at state, uh, local government, as you mentioned, or state police. We are even going down to the level of the community in all the wards, 8,809 political words that we have in this country. We have a special arrangement, special package, which we are going to unveil uh, very soon. All the lapses that we have today uh, in this country uh, as a result of the leadership that we have today in this country. And uh, I want to assure you that uh, we have done almost everything in the last 30 years. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.